Hi my friends, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on a Budget and another foundation on a Friday. The one I wanted to share with you today, it's one I spoke of quite recently in um, Bella's Vines. And it's, quite, it's become quite iconic actually. It's the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. And it's, it's very popular on YouTube. And very popular with the blogs, you know, the beauty blogs. So I wanted to try. Now you know, you guys know I love Makeup Revolution. I think they're they're one of the best high street brands, and um, they get better and better. Their eyeshadows are superb, um, and I wanted to really try this because I, you know, I've heard all the hype, and you know what I'm like. So, no further ado, let's go. On. Okay, my friends, so before we start, I have to tell you it's raining out there today. I'm sitting in front of the window and the rain is bashing against the window and you're probably going to hear it. So, before I started, because this is quite a, a it's not matte, it's not completely matte by any means, but it's not the sort of foundation that I would put up under my eyes. Some you can. I've shared that with you before. Some you can. But this particular one you can't. So I've already um, got concealer on my eyes. Which is the Fit Me Maybelline Fit Me. And I've just set that with the powder from the Wet n Wild palette. Which I find really nice powder for setting under the eyes it's um it's very smooth very silky so what do i think so far the packaging is beautiful it is lovely as i said i'm not nuts about doe foots but they seem to be the thing now and they seem to be really really popular and a lot of the foundations now are coming out with the doe foots i still prefer a pump um i feel more in control i feel that the airtight pump is is more hygienic um but they all seem to be coming out with this now as i said i'm not going to put it right under my eyes because it's it's too drying for under my eyes. So we'll just put a little bit on. It does dry quite fast. So I'm going to do one side at a time. Now with it with a doe foot, this is one of the reasons I'm not keen on a doe foot. Um is because you you can't really tell the amount. I know with pumps, I can do one pump one side, one pump the other, <clears throat> or if I spread it out, one and a half, two pumps all over my face, and it's done. It's done. Whereas with the doe foot, of course, you can say, one doe foot on one side but it's all according to the size of it isn't it and that, that's quite big so i'm just going to have a look in my mirror which i don't know where i've put down here so i'm just going to check in my mirror to make sure i'm getting the application So now, if you can see one side to the other side, looking in my mirror, my zoom mirror, it's not a, what I would call completely full coverage, but I like that. I'm not keen on completely full coverage. You could build this up, but I'm not going to. You can still see my skin underneath. But it certainly enhanced it nicely. So let's do the other side. Again, I just find this really... I just don't like dough foot. I know a lot of the ladies I've seen have um, put a pump on top. 
and got rid of the doe foot. I don't know if that would work. I've never tried that to be honest. Let's continue. Um, yeah, it's covering nicely. It's covering the way that I like a foundation to cover in the sense it's not it's not streaky it's very even it's not too full now then i think i would have gone a shade deeper i think it's the shade this is f3 and I think this is possibly just a shade too light for me. Maybe a shade, half a shade darker. You can't really tell till I've got all my makeup on. Now, what do you think? Try and zoom you in a little bit for this. What do you think, guys? Let's put my makeup on and we'll see. Okay, guys, what do you think? I'm quite liking it. I'm quite liking it. Um, I like the fact that it's not that sort of painted too full coverage. I can't carry that. Um, my daughter can beautifully, but then her skin's a little bit younger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't carry that anymore um, and I, I prefer a lighter looking foundation now and I'm not saying that full coverage foundations if you get the right one don't have a nice natural look to them they do they do but for this type of foundation I would say this is kind of it, it's medium to full coverage because I would call it medium. I think I'd call it a medium coverage because very much so you saw when I was applying it that you can still see my skin through it. And I like that. I, I like that look. So my shade is F3. I don't know. I think when it gets a little bit warmer, I think I need to go um, a little darker, maybe to an F4. It's... um. It, it's okay at the moment, but I think I could go maybe a shade, especially when I start to self-tan, I think I need to go a shade darker. Um, but it's nice, it's nice. As I said, the only downside is the doe foot. And I'm, I'm just going to have to put up with that because all the foundations, so many foundations I like now come with this doe foot. It seems to be, especially if I'm experimenting and trying foundations for you, I'm going to find a lot with a doe foot because it seems to be the way to go. But I still prefer a pump. I, I just know what I'm doing. I like to measure it out. I know exactly the amount I'm getting and I just prefer a pump. But other than that, yes, I like it. I do like it. It's not I, It's not one I would put up right under my eyes. Um, some foundations you can. You know, I've, I've done that with you. But this particular foundation is not one that I would put right up under my eyes. It's, it's not dewy enough for that. But I'm liking it. What do you think? You tell me what you think. Um, I'll do another foundation on a Friday and then I think I might do a countdown to the ones that I've done so far um see which ones we like best and which ones I don't like so much I think that's what I'll do next um, next I'm doing I've got another foundation that I want to do next for you so I'm definitely going to do another foundation on a Friday first and then maybe we'll do a little bit of catch up what do you think okay so I'll see you again really soon you take care of yourselves thank you for being here with me guys and if you do enjoy my videos please give me a thumbs up and you know if you like it subscribe to my channel and push the little bell so that you get um, notification of my videos it would really really help me um, if you could do that but only if you really like my videos okay I'll see you again real soon. God bless. Take care of yourselves now. Bye. Bye.